Well, since the loss at Man United, we've lost another game, but that was to fifth place Arsenal at the time, and it wasn't unexpected. That is to say, I wasn't surprised we lost. The good news is we're beating the teams we're supposed to be beating, at least more often than not. We did have one draw against Montpellier that was that was kind of annoying. Today, though, we are playing Chelsea, and I think this game will go a long way in determining how the rest of the season will go. My name's F. Angelico, and this is the Palace March, episode 56. Well, as you can see, our form has been not too bad. The Arsenal game was a lot closer than it actually looks here. But first, we play the away part of our Europa Group League match at Olympia Ljubljana. Can't, it's the American in me coming out. Olympia Ljubljana, I think, maybe? Anyhow, this was a pretty rotated side on my part. Eddie Nketi, a brace of goals. Joe Harris, a goal in the 49th minute. We had 20 shots, seven on target to Ljubljana's Ljubljana. Jeez. To their 11 and 4. I'm sorry. I just, I'm just i tripping over their name tonight. I don't know why. The yellow cards are a bit of a worry, but you know we came up with a win. And by this time, we'd already clinched the group. That's why I started a really rotated side. The fact that they come on and had as good a performance as they did was very, very nice to see. We're then away at Arsenal. Uh, Reese Nelson had a brace of goals. Both of them came off free kicks. The second one was this curling effort that NECA got a fingertip on, but it wasn't enough to stop the ball from going in. We were better than them on the day in terms of stats. 19 shots, 10 on target, a huge possession advantage. They had 14-6. and six. And I think as a team, we were better than they were overall. Tonali especially had a very good game. Reese's 9.0 comes from the fact that he had the two goals. You know, but NECA kind of had an off game for him. Everyone else, I don't know. This was a game I think we should have done better in. Mayoral's goal in the 54th minute was very nice to see. And we had our chances near the end of the game. We just could not put the ball across. I'm not upset I lost at Arsenal. Arsenal's a very good team. I would have been upset had we lost to Aston Villa. And as it stood, we were on our way to a draw when Luis had a banger of a goal in the 91st minute from about 25 yards out. We had 17 shots, 6 on target to the 3-1. This, If this had been a draw, I would have been really upset because we just absolutely outclassed them all game. They did just enough on defense to stop us from scoring. And the Luis goal is very, very nice. It does look like an extra time goal, but it literally happened in like the first 5 seconds of the 90th minute. So... I, I'm not going to count that as an extra time goal. Well, I would if I was on the other side. I'll be honest with you. But again, some players turning in some really solid performances. Jake Kirby is is really developing. Um, Fogner also had a very good game. Um, Basankic and Mepham are doing really good in the center. Kamara... I don't know. I think I'm going to move him in the January transfer window. I just... Mepham is at least as good as he is, if not better in a couple key areas. And I just, I've lost confidence in him. I can't explain why. He's just, I don't know. I can't explain it. He was one of the first players I brought on in the uh, January transfer window of the very first year. I paid 18 million pounds for him. And maybe I've gotten 18 million pounds worth out of him. I just... I don't know, I keep expecting more from him in terms of, like, contributions to the team. You know, he had the three goals the one year. He had two assists last year. He has one assist this year. He went all of 20, 21, 22 without scoring. You know, not, not even in the cup games or the international games did he have a goal or an assist. And I think maybe that's what's... That's what's the driving factor to move him. I just, I'm expecting more from him. Maybe I'm putting too much on him. And, you know, it's not that he's a bad player. He's good. He's three and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential ability. Doesn't like big matches. And maybe that's what's holding him back. So I think, I think, yeah, we're going to move him on. I've got Raul waiting in the wings to kind of step up behind Mepham. As you can see here, Raul, two star current ability. Four and a half star potential ability. Also a central defender. He's uh, he's got potential. 
So if I can't find somebody to come in on a one-to-one -one replacement for Kamara right now, and I'm not going to overpay. I, I don't think I'll pay Kamara type money for his replacement at the moment. I'll bring in Raul and let him develop. We then had our last group stage game in the Europa League against Montpellier. I switched to the 4-4-2 down with Diamond because I wanted to rest a few players. They squeaked out a draw. We, uh, we were better than them, especially on defense. We had 18 shots, 5 on target, a slight possession advantage. Well, a negligible possession advantage, I should say. 1% is, is not huge. They had uh, four yellow cards in the Jordi class. He got sent off for a second yellow card in the 78th minute, and we still couldn't score. They did just enough defensively to stop us. I'm kind of upset this wasn't a win, but at the same time, we'd already clinched the group. We made another 500,000 pounds for winning. I don't know. I guess, you know, we beat them easily the first time around. I was expecting us to do the same the second time around. and I don't know. Maybe my expectations are too high there. Today, we are facing Chelsea away. I'm going to set the best 11. The uh, betters have picked Chelsea to win, but I believe we've got a really good chance against them. So I'm going to set the best 11, and we're going to come back with that match in just a bit. And this is the team we are starting today. Neck and goal, Kirby, Mepin, Basanka, and Sadlik as the defensive back four. Fagner, Yeftik, and Luis as the midfield three. Richie, Goebbels, and Mayoral up top as the strikers. It's that time of year where Sandro Finale is starting to require a rest more often than not, so he is getting this game off. I think... Jeftik is going to come in and do a pretty credible job. And apparently it's a downpour here at Chelsea. So let me uh, do that real quick. And then I can make this a little bigger. Merrill stops the ball from going out of bounds. This is still a kickoff highlight, isn't it? Jeftik up to Ricci, who got behind the defender, and he shoots it right at Keppa. Of course he does. Goebbels, short corner to Fogner, out to Jeftik at the top of the box, back to Fogner, back out to Goebbels, to Jeftik, who loses the ball, Pulisic has it, and he kicks it out of bounds. Interesting. Mepham, up to Kirby, back to Mepham, long pass towards Mayoral, who didn't stop running, cross it. Goebbels towards Mepham, and he scores. I think that's the other reason I'm willing to let Kamara go. Mepham is involved on the offense in more ways than one. That's his second goal of the season, which is twice the amount Kamara has. Told my guys to concentrate. They're overwhelmed. Okay. Eden Hazard knocked away. Betancourt back out to Hazard. Back to Betancourt to Conte. Now back to Betancourt to Conte. Back out to Goretzka on the right. He drives across the top of the box to Pulisic. Knocked away. Masuku steps in front of Mayor, although. Conte, back to Masuku. Or is that Goebbels that's the nine? I can't remember. I should know this. Conte to Betancourt. Out to Aspilicueta alone on the right. Crosses it in. Knocked away. Luis has it. Up in space towards Mayoral. Mayoral is the nine. Out to Ricci on the left. To Goebbels. Oh! That's what happens when you cross the ball. Oh, it was a nice counterattack by us. It's still saying Mepham score. That's not right. It's been a while since Goebbels has scored. It's, it's nice to see him there. Ten goals. Tenth goal of the season. I think this time last year, he was already in double digits. The upper double digits. Close to 20. Five shots, five on target for us coming into the half. Four shots, two on target for Chelsea. They, however, do have the ability to come back. Coming up on 60 minutes. We we're gonna take Fogner off and bring on Vanasser. And we're gonna take Yaptik off and bring on Fernandez. Fogner, if only because he's at 71%, and Yeftik because he's on the yellow card and I can't afford to go a man down. Oh, Gubbles with the shot, Kibble with a nice save. That was that was poorly done by Chelsea. They almost paid for it there. Keppa. Out to Skrinar. Taps it up to Pulisic. Back to Betancourt. Back up to Pulisic. Pulisic, Pulisic, you know, Christian. To Arp. Disposit. Nope, he recovers. Pulisic to Aspilicueta. Crosses it in, knocked away. Bakayoko's up top to Kante. Back out to Aspilicueta. And Hazard's there with the goal. That was well done by Chelsea. Could have 
another genre clearance. Nice pass by Conte to Azpilicueta. Hazard with a corner kick in at the Pulisic. And he pushes his shot left. PSG is still coming after NECA. To the point where Ancelotti's been visiting the stadium a couple of times. Savlik. Oh, thrown is knocked away. Hazard has it to Betancourt. To Delit. Up to Arp, but it's knocked away. Mayoral has it. Back to Savlik. To Fernandez. Over to Benasser. Back out to Savlik alone on the right. He crosses it in. Knocked away. Luis gets it. He crosses it in. Ricci's there, and he pushes a shot just left. That was a nice effort. Didn't realize Bosankic was on a 6-0. We will bring on Kamara. Kirby up into space, and that is the game. Well done, boys. Seven shots, six on target. The Chelsea's 12-7. and seven. They had a slight possession advantage, but they could not make it work for him. Chris Mepham, a nice goal off a set piece. William Gubbles, a nice goal off a Ricci assist. That moves us into a tie for third place. Man City is somehow a point ahead of everybody. Uh, the FA Cup third round draw was made. We are playing West Brom, who are in the championship. So we do West Brom in the FA Cup third round game. That is who we're going to come back for. The uh, January transfer window will have started, but we'll play West Brom, and then we'll probably skip ahead to whoever we're playing in the first knockout round of the Europa League. A good win against a pretty good Chelsea team. Premier League at the moment, Man City is a point ahead of both us and United. Chelsea is three points behind. Arsenal in fifth, Wolves in sixth, Leicester in seventh. That's interesting. A lot of guys on 12 goals. Gubbles with seven assists is nice. It was nice to see him score. Let's uh, take a look at him real quick. Yeah, 10 goals thus far. That's not too bad. So, that said, we have, I'm not going to say a fairly easy run of games in front of us. I know Sheffield United and Middlesbrough are both uh, near the bottom of the Premier League. You know, but Aston Villa is bottom of the table, and it took a last-minute goal for us to beat them. So, hopefully we're not back at that point where we're playing down to our opponent's level. If that's the case, we are going to be in a heap of trouble. But if anything, beating Chelsea today tells me that we're not doing it now, at least. If we're playing good against the good teams and bad against the bad teams, then we're in trouble. And this kind of looks like that's what's going on. Hopefully that's not the case long term. That said, if it is, this start here should see us through. If you liked what you've seen and heard, please give a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Questions, criticisms, comments, leave those down below. I'll answer them as fast as I can. My name is F.M. Jellico. I thank you for watching.